Hey, what's up, my saints and sinners? It's Demon Sun here again, playing some Ovi Pinata. And as you guys can see, we still have a little, little, uh, little nice little place here. So, uh, we have to wait for this carrot to grow. Pardon me, I gotta get a sip of my tea. And it's about to pop out. You seem to have most of the basics now. So see what you can Now I just gotta romance two more worlds. But here's the bunny comb. Hush! Oh boy. <laughs> Squeeze me. Uh, we're gonna bring this closer to the edge so the bunny comb can take a look at it. As I wait for another whirlwind. Come on, join. Hop on the line so I can get some points. I get the little moth drop! It's so teeny tiny. Look at how tiny it is. It's so small. I want to see Viva Pinata plushies. I wonder if they still make them. Because I know they had Viva Pinata McDonald's toys. Or, as I should say, McRonald's so I don't get destroyed. I'm probably just going to say McRonald's. They had some McRonald's toys with the, uh, with the little worms. Uh, with the... I forgot what... Uh, what the sheep one is called, but I know it's some wackadoodle name. This is our, as you can see, um, you can definitely tell where we're going to be growing out our bases to. Oh, uh, there's the moth drop. Right over there in the rocks. Just waddling around. Yeah, so cute. Here is your clock. Uh, thank you for the clock. And I need this little worm whirl to get in here so I can uh, r romance them together. It's really, it gets really, really fun when you, when it, when it starts getting, when you start getting cooler and with uh, nicer pinatas. Um. Especially when you have to plan against, yeah, the sour pinatas, because the sour pinatas are mean. <laughs> so, basically, and I was too lazy to try and friend the uh, sour bat, the sour sore bat. Growl. By the way, the crow and the, the bat pinata, when they're not sour, are adorable. The shelly bean kind of stays the same, though, but it just changed from red to, like, blue and orange. The little moth drop! Come on, little moth drop! Look at you! Information has a light in the garden. I don't think we, yeah, we can't go into town quite yet.
The bunny comb is here. Here are the experience petals. Can you see them around the clock? When you do something to help the garden, the petals will turn blue. If you'd like some more information about the experience petals, press Y or look. You've leveled up. Bunnycomb ate the carrot, and the bunnycomb left. The bunnycomb left after taking my carrot. There's CDOS. <laughs> Let me introduce CDOS. He's obsessed with gathering seeds. You should try talking to him. I forget. Oh, there he is. He's right over there at the little palm tree. That's his house. Uh, the bunny comes coming back down to check out the garden, I think. See, Dust will be coming into the garden here in a few. I don't see the worm anywhere. Oh, I see one worm. A dream where all the shovels broke, and I slept on a bed made of lots of seagulls <laughs> has a family, but they aren't as well. All right, so I believe these are daisy seeds. There's a turnip seed. Let me look. Buttercup. It's a buttercup seed. These are both buttercups. This is a carrot and this is a turnip seed. And now they romance again. And these are chocolate coins, by the way. Well, the shop is now open. Perfect. Which means that we can finally get the Sparrowman's seeds. The Sparrowman's house, sorry. Nice to meet you. Mouse Molo. Good news. You
and this is what the little small, very small animation, but it's very noticeable. Taff fly. Obviously based off of the taffy. Here's a taff fly. It like mm. Buzzle gum. Mm -hmm. Be chonky. The buzzle gum is chonky. You big chonk. <laughs> Your garden has attracted a buzzle gum. They like almost any flower, but they prefer buttercups. White flitter scotch. Congratulations! You have attracted a white flutter scotch. Sometimes they are attracted by the noises of other animals, and sometimes the scent of flowers brings them. And there's Lottie, the person who sells us stuff like seeds and um, hey, everyone. You other builds that are not pinata houses. The villa now costs a Alright. He's back here. Um, can I? I still can't dig, I can only whack. I think I have to wait for my upgrade for that. Bang! Gotta get more points. You must have more points. I still have a kid broken that has candy cane left over from Christmas. <laughs> Not to figure out why I'm gonna upload these videos. Mm. Next time you put the cursor over a pinata. Your gardening is a. About to get the syrup in. Thank you. 
My name is Jardinero. You've probably heard of me, and if you haven't, then you should have. I am the best gardener on Piñata Island. Even after all this time, there's no one as good as I was. The land that you are messing about with used to be my garden. I could make any plant grow and have any piñata stay in the garden. Well, apart from one piñata. Let's face it, if I couldn't get one, no one else could. Now, forget <coughs> about all that. You've got a long way to go before you can even call this a garden. Not long after I started the garden, I met my wonderful wife. She worked on the ships, which traded piñata for other goods. This was in the days when piñata only left the island by boat. Piñata Central hadn't been built then. We got married the day that the first parts arrived to build Piñata Central. Mother, my wife, stayed on the island for a whole year, and our first child was born. We called him Stardos. When Stardos was two years old, my wife had to go back to sea. Piñata Central had installed the first cannonata, and there were requests for more piñata than ever before. My garden was already impressive, and I could supply Piñata Central with really good piñata. With Mother gone, I set about teaching little Stardos about piñata and making the best garden in Piñata Island history. And that is how... Oh, there we are. <laughs> we got a syrup in. Couldn't get one. I want to know which one that was. I believe it's the, um... I think there's a dragon. I can't remember which one it was specifically. But here's the pret's tail. A pret's tail has a pe in town. You're guaranteed a warm welcome at Costa Lobster. Found what you want? Oh, I know. I want to see. Excuse me. You know, this could start to get annoying. So that. There we go. That's more like it. Looks like I need to order. Beats the taste of hard earned chocolate cash. Found what you want? You won't find the Hmm. Nothing beats the taste of hard earned.
you won't find them cheaper. There we go. Sour jelly bean. She eats seeds. Sorry, I have a candy cane in my mouth. Here comes trouble. I need apple seeds. Somebody give me a fucking apple seed already. So cute. I prefer this one to the uh, fire scotch because it looks so adorable. I need a hazelnut tree for this one. Look at that squazzle. The squazzle is interested in a garden when it has some better piñata living there. This one's the my one of my favorites because it's so cute a raisin. Even though I hate raisins, this thing's adorable. And ants. I hate raisin and ants. But this thing's adorable. Guys, if you enjoyed this and you want to see more of your pinata, check in next week for more of your pinata. See you.